Well, hello everybody. Today is Monday. I think it's like the 17th, 16th, something like that. It's a Monday, the, I think it's like the second or third week of October, so you figure it out. It's today, the way today that you might be watching the video. Or it's Monday, whatever. It's Monday. <laughs> and anyway, so I am on my way to the store. I came home. I have food, but it's just like stuff that is bigger than I need. You know what I mean? I want to make some chicken soup. I know y'all say no noodles. No, I can't have noodles. I'm gonna put. I'm getting chicken noodle. A uh, chicken, chicken bone broth, vegetables. I'm gonna get a little celery. We're gonna try it out and see it because it, once it's cooked, it's different. I think. Um, a little bit of onion. A, a carrot or two. I don't particularly like carrots, but I like the flavor it gives, you know. Um, some seasoning and just chicken. And I want the, I've been craving, I have this thing about soup lately. I don't know if there's something in my diet missing. There's probably a lot in my diet missing. Keep it 100%. But so I'm getting that. I'm going to make that. And I'm gonna make some beanless chili, but I buy beans for my brother because he likes beans and she doesn't like a lot though. He likes more meat. So I do make the chili. I'm making that and I might make a meatloaf and I need a little bit of hamburger and stuff like that. And uh, I have nothing like, I mean, I have eggs. I always have plenty of eggs, but I don't have any like meat to go with it. You know, more another protein. I'm out of tea. Well, no, I have tea. I'm out of soda. I'm out of, uh, I'm out of something else. Coffee? Yeah, I think I'm out of coffee. And um, just the little things that you, you know, that makes like tolerable strawberries, berries, some sort of a berry. I like that. I need to get some more lemons for sure. Um, just, just things, you know. I gotta get some more cat food. I was gonna go to another store. And I remember, oh no, you can't. I used to live down that street right there. Uh, I, I thought to myself, oh no, you can't. You cannot go to the other store because, I mean, you, you, you have to go to this store because I have to go get the cat, the dog food. Oh, they, got, they build a roundabout. What the hell is this about? Why did they do this? Why did they do a roundabout? I haven't been down this way. Like, I used to look over here. I hate roundabouts. I really, truly hate roundabouts. I think they cause more accidents because people like me don't know how to drive them. Um, yeah. So, anyway, yeah. I'm on my way to the store and then I'm going to come back home and either make, I have to decide what I read. I think I'll make the chicken soup now. Because I don't think my brother will like it. And he don't like soup of any kind. So I'm going to make the chicken soup for me. And when he comes in, I'll make the chili. And I'll make meatloaf. And he's always wanting me to make spaghetti. I can make him spaghetti. I just can't eat it. You know, I'll have enough of anything, of everything else. So not a big deal. And I can go by uh, Aldi and get some chicken breast. I can give the dog next door some chicken breast. And... Um, so it all worked out good. It worked out really well. We are going to the right place at the right time. So, the weight loss. Three pounds. I mean, that wasn't bad. I mean, I'm freaking pretty happy with that. I I didn't do bad at the, at the... I ate a few extra almonds. Maybe I shouldn't have. But all in all, I think nuts are okay. You know, I, I don't really measure them out. I used to say 10 is good. 10 is good. I probably did 20. And yesterday, I I, did, I wanted to eat so bad. I was so hungry. So usually when I go to this, we get out. I mean, usually they have food. And I was going to get like, I did get when I was there, I got a sloppy joe. But I didn't eat the bread. I, well, I ate, I ate the bottom part of the bread. And so I didn't eat the top. I threw that away. This lady, I know she's, I've seen her like forever. Her name's Wanda. And her and her husband sit there and uh, she says, what are you doing? I said, well, I'm on a diet that I don't eat. That's the one who said, 
you gain weight. I, yeah. I told her, I said, yeah, but I'm on my way to lose it. I said, so it's like, I said, you know, things happen, you know. And she, but she had a brother who had weight loss surgery. He died. He died because of it. He had so many complications, she said. She said one day his, his life went, you know, he, he, he died. She said it was due to weight loss complications of weight loss surgery. And the surgery wasn't new. It had been months like a couple months and um, and and he had a few little issues not many she said you know in the very beginning he was losing weight consistently 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 but he wasn't eating good his eating wasn't great and um, then he just died she said you know and she hates weight loss surgery so she knew when I was getting ready to have it and she seen me when I was done she seen me when I had lost a lot of weight and she was really shocked. She's like, oh, you, you know, I said, yeah, I can eat everything well. Like I told her, I said, you know, you can do anything you want on weight loss surgery. Don't let people think you can't. Yeah, you can, you can get yourself to where you can eat. I said, you won't always feel great. But the habit is stronger than, the, unless your will isn't stronger than the habit. Now my will is stronger than the habit. That's true. My will is better. It has been three months now. I've been on this diet for three months exactly. Yesterday. Yes. Yesterday it's been three months. So. Um, and that's as long as I've ever stayed on a diet besides weight loss surgery. And well, no. When I was a kid, I lost like a great amount of weight during the summer. I started like in June. And I actually, I lost all the weight by December that I was going to lose. Yeah, by about December, January, I was down to, I lost like about 50, 60 pounds. But you got to remember, I was young. I had a metabolism of a young person. I have a metabolism of grandma now. So, you know, 30 pounds for me is great. 33 pounds. I'm like, I, I take it. I'll take it. Um, I still have my, I still have a goal I'm trying to reach for this month. I'm trying to get down to 35 pounds. So I get two more pounds to go to reach that goal. I do set myself small goals that if I can reach them, I, it's a personal goal, you know, like, okay, you know, cause my, my goal that I, the number I set and I said it was 60. So I'm halfway there, a little more than halfway. So, you know, I mean, it doesn't mean when I get to 60, I'm done cause I'm not, cause I won't be anywhere near, you know, at a good body weight, but I would be like in the 180s, but you know, I will be closer to where I should be. But again, I say it's, it does last. It's, this thing lasts for one year to see where I end up. I might end up not even at the 60. I don't know. You know, but it was it was a good way in and I, I, I when I got home, I will be honest, I did get on the scale and it did show like it always does because I had clothes on so it was a little heavier and you know, I said, but it did look good. I said, this, this, this doesn't look like it gained anything. Because even with my clothes on, it was lower than the, 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 the time before I weighed in. So it was still lower. So it was not even five pounds. It was about a pound or two. So I knew this was probably going to be a good one. And um, because I had, to, I had to restrict because they had all kind of donuts. They had cookies there. They had like, these chocolate chip cookies. This lady kept on eating these damn cookies. And then they had like these, these like look like fun cakes, and they had like oh, it looks so good. I think they got it from like this this bakery. They might have donated them to them. I'm not sure. So um, I didn't again. I didn't get any of that. I did have the sloppy Joe one time because it was time to eat, and you know it's kind of like away from. Well, it's not away from, you can get to a place fast, but a place like Denny's, and Denny's is slow on a good day. When there's no way in there, you still wait 25 minutes to get your food, because we're just slow. And so, I just, okay, I, I get this, and I eat, I, I'll be honest, I eat sloppy joy at home. I do, when I make it for my brother, I just, I use, actually, then I get the keto bread, and I just have the bun, you know, like that. I have one, and I'll have two, one, one is a portion. So, but I don't do it often, but I did that because I mean, there was nothing else. I could have had a hot dog, you know, 
and I don't know what kind of hot dogs they have, and if it's not, if it's anything other than beef, forget it, I don't like it, I don't eat pork hot dogs. I'm not bougie like that, but it's the only thing I am kind of weird about is pork hot dogs. I, 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 I like beef hot dogs. And yeah, I do eat hot dogs. I do eat hot dogs. In fact, when I make chili, I usually have a hot dog with it. It's just it's so damn good. Yep, it's so damn good. Um, that's when I enjoy, truly enjoy eating, is when I have that, you know, when I have chili. That was like one of my best, best, best meals. I don't know why. Because I'm not usually like into chili, but it's just so flavorful. Anyway, without beans, of course, you know, you're just eating meat, whatever, you know. Oh, what else? Uh, 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 uh. I think I'm going to go through my clothes today. It's supposed to, we're supposed to get our first snow drop, snowflake, snow drop, snowflake. They, they say we got it this morning, but I kind of see a little spitting of snow, like, because it's 41, so it's really not that cold. But who knows, you know, and if you go up to Chicago, it's cold because you're right there by the lake, you know, Lake Michigan. And, you know, but I, I, I thought I saw something, but I'm not going to press it, you know. I took Hercules out this morning for a walk, and he has a little jacket on. He looks so cute. And, um, but he, you know, he really, he really got cold. So I know this is going to be a thing for him. Um, I don't think the, the, the cold is here to stay. I think most people still have a few more warm days, which is okay. Um, you know, warm days. I mean, I, I think they used to call it a long time ago, Indian summer. I, but I think that might be over with. I don't think we're going to get the, look at that bush out. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's so beautiful. Um, it's a tree, I guess. Um, I absolutely adore. I might go on a walk to stay because it's just so fall like weather right now. It warms the cockles of my heart. It really does. It just makes me so happy to see this weather. I, I went on my walk when I was at my, my eldest thing. And you know, that was one of the best things I did. I felt really good doing that it was so beautiful and just to see all that and just to and, and to be honest with you just to know I can walk without panting <sighs> I wasn't you know I wasn't even out of breath and it, it's just a good feeling to know that you know with a little prayer and hope and a little, what's it called? Uh, keeping my my goals in, in mind. I can do this again. This time, maybe I can do my weight loss better than I did last time. This time, with for the right reason and the right mindset. This is what I need to do for me, not for you, not to impress nobody. And, and, and I'll be honest, you know, sometimes people do things to impress other people and that's not usually when it's a success it's usually a success when you do it to impress yourself somebody asked me if my family notices my weight loss yes and no I mean they don't say much about it because I think they're 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 cautiously optimistic because you know if a person loses 100 pounds and then they gain back 80 yeah you're like yeah you're gonna do this right that's why if I'm if, I, if I'm gonna ever get any compliments from my family it's gonna have to be after I lose a lot of weight to show them and keep it off for a, a, a specific amount of time because it's like you know, people who, who aren't overweight or had never had a weight problem don't understand it. People who've never had weight loss surgery, 
think, oh, well, well, you're fixed. You should never gain back weight. That's a lie. That is a lie. Your mama told you, or your daddy told you, or or even the doctor might have told you. Well, the doctor ain't going to tell you that because he'll be, if you have any kind of a doctor, he'll tell you it can come back. But the thing is, this is the thing, and, you know, not to preach to the choir because I know you guys are smart and you all know this. And sometimes it's just for myself. It's like, you know, or even, you know, like my family. Uh, my husband's not overweight, never has had a weight problem, never. He'd be considered skinny, probably. My brother is average weight for his size. My daughter is on the chunky side, okay? My son's overweight, okay? And, and I do attribute their weight issues coming from me because probably how I taught them how to eat poorly. And, but, you know, they're adults. They can make their own decisions. You know, I was taught how to eat. Little Debbie was a friend, you know. And still, Little Debbie's my best friend. Just, we're on, she's on hiatus now. And, you know, um, so, you know, my, my family does, I think my daughter gets it. She knows how hard this is. I don't think she knows how hard it is for me. Because, like, right now, I don't really look that much thinner. I really don't. I really, 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 really don't. Maybe to you all, well, maybe I appear a little bit thinner, but I don't really look that much thinner. Yeah, I can wear a smaller size pants, but you got to understand, I got a big gut. And, and I got skin because I, I got a big gut. When you lose weight, and if you had a big gut, it's not going to just, you're not going to have worse for in stomach. Don't even try to believe that. Oh, I lost this weight, so my belly's going to be flat as a, as a, no, it ain't. You know, unless, if you, if it is, God bless you, you've been blessed. But, not mine. I got big hips. I do have big hips. I got bigger legs than I thought I had. You know, my, my wings are ready for flight. Uh, my, my jaw, my, my chin is starting to go down a little bit. And I never really had that, you know, the gobbler, I call it. I never had it, but I noticed that it might be coming. And, you know, I mean, there's just a whole lot of things. And so I don't look that much thinner. But, this is the, the, the but. I know I am losing weight because I wear smaller sizes. It's the truth. Things that I couldn't do before, I could do now. I get up off the floor. I had to get under the, the bed to get to clean up underneath bed and you know I was getting all that stuff that ends up underneath the bed because I got a wood floor that ends up over there so I had to get down there and, and you know see what was down there so I got up off the floor with pretty much not ease but it wasn't like struggle wise okay and I can walk without really hard and I can wear a smaller couple smaller sizes but again, like I said, don't get it twisted. I know that I'm not thin. Don't get, don't, don't think, okay, I think she's skinny now. No, I don't. No, I don't. Even at my top weight, my, my lowest weight, if I ever get to, let's say, 160, I know in my eyes and what I see, but I know what the numbers mean for real. You know, I mean, it's not a cute look. It's just healthier for me. It's just the ability to maybe walk somewhere and not have to sit down every 10 minutes because I'm winded. It's the ability to go get on a plane and not have to buy to worry about swimming over into the person's next seat. I've always been avoiding going on a plane because that used to happen to me for real. Oh gosh, you guys still here. You know, on, on real deal, when I used to get on a plane, my fat ass always was ending up in somebody else's seat. Yes, ma'am. And I was embarrassed. And the last time that happened to me. Now, the last time I was on a plane, I was thin. So, I was perfectly fine. I had room left. But the time before that, uh -uh, I was a fat ass. And I was going to Las Vegas. Well, no, 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 I was going to Memphis. That's, that's not true. I was going, uh, when, when, I, when I was, then the last time I went to Memphis, the, the time before that I was going to 
Las Vegas for my daughter's wedding and I hadn't stopped gambling because I don't remember he gambled then. And my fat ass was in everybody else's seat but my, uh, plus my own. Okay, so it, that that's just real. It's real. And you're touching people. Nobody wants you to touch them. I don't want nobody touching me. You know, I keep it real. It, it's not a cute look. And people do mind. People do mind. They do mind if you touch them when they they pay for that seat just like you did, you know. So, and I'm not saying they should give you two seats for free. Nope, they, nope, 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 nope. And you know, it's just I guess the way it is. It's just the way I feel about it. Now again, I'm not talking for you. I'm talking for me. And you know, and there's like a whole lot of other things. But again, my family just to answer that question. I couldn't, I didn't answer like really exact because I had to think about it. Because like, somebody asked me a question, a true honest question, I will answer it for you 100% and tell you the truth and go into details if you want. Um, I think, yeah, they notice they, I think they notice my, my husband has and you know, but I think they're cautiously optimistic and as they should be. You know, just because I say I'm on a diet, how many of us have said we were on the diet and then next, in the next breath, uh, I'm going to stop getting me a Big Mac? Hands up, that's me. I got my hand up. And, or stop by the bakery and get a donut just because it goes well with coffee. No, I, that's me. I've done that. But I haven't done it this time. And I have no, no intentions of doing it because, like I said, this is bigger. This is, okay, yeah, Christmas is coming. It's going to be a struggle bus. It's going to be a struggle bus. But I have to remember, what do I want more? Do I want to lose this weight and feel accomplished? After I accomplish eating that donut or that little Debbie or those little cherry cordials that I love for my little, from the little, uh, from the little Debbie. Oh, I love those. Or the candies or the cakes or the whatever. Okay. You know, that's not an accomplishment. You know, yeah, you can go up a size or two. You know, it's easy to go up. It's hard to go down. It's hard, hard, hard. It's hard to get back on board once you get off the bus. So, no, no, no. That, that's, that's very true. It's hard to get back on board once you get off the bus. Because that bus is, is, is a struggle bus. It is a struggle bus. And it, it, it's constant, consistently, you know, hard. And you're always making deals with yourself. I'll start tomorrow. I'll start the next day. I'll start in two days. I'll start after. I'll start after New Year's because you know it's okay to be fat during New Year's. I'm not saying you yeah, for me. This is my thing. It's okay. Oh, I, I have to celebrate with my family, so I have to have pie. I don't have to have pie. I I probably tasted every piece of pie. The only pie that I really truly like anyways is custard pie. It's the only pie I like. And, and it ain't worth it. it. It ain't worth it. I've had enough of it. I remember what it tastes like. If I don't, I'll probably find some uh, coffee creamer that tastes like it. I don't know. No, I won't. Because I like the flavored coffee cream. Ugh. I just take cream. Okay. But, you know, I'm, what I'm trying to say is nothing is worth it. I mean, it's got to be really something fan freaking tastic to make me decide that this isn't what I want right now. Now, I could ch change my mind in, in, in 15 minutes. True. I could. I could change my mind in 15 quick minutes and say, you know what? I want uh, where I buy McDonald's. I want to go get me a hash brown and some an Egg McMuffin and a, and a Coke. And, you know, I say forget it. But not right now. That's not where my mind's at. So that's just my little thing. So that's your answer. Yes and no, to be honest with you. Yes and no. I think they're very cautiously optimistic. And um, I don't, I'm not putting it out there. I don't talk about it with my family. I always have. It's always been my topic of a conversation. And. Oh, it's the only place I talk about my weight loss, truthfully, is online if with you guys. Because I don't with nobody else because I think I have to prove it to them. Yeah, that I'm serious. I don't need to prove it to myself. I already know I'm serious. 
but I need to prove it to them. And that's okay. Because I, I deserve that. You know what? When you when you screw up enough times and you say, I'm doing it, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. Everybody say, yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh, prove it to me. You know what they say? Don't tell me, show me. So that's what I'm trying to do. I'm, I'm not doing it for them, though. I, I don't care. They love me fat or they love me thin. I, I think they would probably like me thinner because I'm more... Not, not for the appearance, because the appearance, like I said, it ain't that. It's just for mobility issues, because I'm getting older. I'm 60, you know. That, that, that number, right, has resonated in my head. 60, oh my God, you know. Will you live 10 more years? Maybe you live five. Maybe you live another month, or, you know, who knows. But if I do, I want to be able to get around. I don't want my way to hinder me, like, ugh. When I went to this hotel, I instead of going on an elevator, I went up the I went up the stairs. That was a good feeling. I went up the stairs and down the stairs. I did not go on the elevator. It's just a small thing, you know. But anyways, oh, I was gonna say this. Does anybody watch? You know, I I, I try to reach out to Pink Fairy, and this is not to drag her. You know, I feel bad for her because I think she just. She gets lost in the moment. Like, she's trying to lose weight. She's doing well. And then all of a sudden, she goes and buys a shitload of candy. I, you know, and, and if you say something to her, like, you know, girl, girl, what you doing? You know, I watched her video today. She did a haul. I mean, the haul was all candy. And she said up there eating jelly beans. And she was, talk she was talking about a couple videos back. Her blood sugar was good. Baby, don't that blood sugar is not gonna stay good if you're eating those jelly beans. You're a diabetic, you know. And and <coughs> and that medicine that you take, that shot, I can't think of the name of it. That is to help you. That doesn't give you permission to eat what you want. I'm not, you know. I get it. You know, food addiction is real. It really, 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 really is real. But you have to be a cobble too. You have to be a part of the solution, you know. And and again, I I know more than anybody else telling somebody else it ain't my business, and that's true. I just you know I'm like, cause I'm supportive of her. I'm really supportive of her. I give her a lot of credit because look, she gets a lot of hate, and I know that. Okay, I know she gets a lot of hate. And sometimes I think she just does it for herself. You know, she, she gets it because she trolls. I think she trolls herself. She trolls herself a little bit. But I, I think she gets lost. Like, like I said before, just because it's Christmas don't mean you have to eat, you know, a whole bunch of cakes or cookies and candies and all that. that that's not what Christmas is about. Halloween isn't about buying every candy bar, a little miniature candy bar and eating them or buying jelly beans and you know you bring home like five different treats how are you going to say no to that if you have an eating disorder, you have an addiction to sugar, which is obvious you, you're going to, you know not obvious, but it's like you know, obviously either you have you like sugar and when you're diabetic, most people who are diabetics type 2 do like sugar you know, I mean, that's what usually got you there. You weren't, you're not born type 2. You're not born type 2 diabetic. That is, that is usually a result of something. Like being maybe overweight, maybe ineffective pancreas, something like that. But I would say, in her, probably overweight. And no shade, just saying, you know, um... That, that that wasn't a good thing and and, and and the reason I do say that I'm going to tell you why and y'all can hate me if you want because we as a YouTuber if we're putting out something oh Zempec that's what she's taking if you're, if you're putting out some information on YouTube at least try to keep it 100% you know not and then somebody call you out on it you don't like it and I would I don't even try to be mean you know I'm fat I know I am. There's no doubts about it. There's no maybes, you know. 
it's just, you know, it's easy for me. I think for a person who's overweight to say something to another overweight person, maybe then to, and maybe just say, hey, you know, a lot of sweets there, dude. A lot of sweets. But anyways, you all have a great day, and I hope you liked this video. If you did, thumbs up, please. And if you like to, if you like my videos, please subscribe. Just you know, it doesn't cost you anything. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't mean anything. It just, it does mean something to me. It means that you like what I'm putting out. And if you hit the bell, you get notification every time I put out a video, which is getting more and more and more. Um, I want to thank everybody who did vo uh, view my uh, Elvis Fantasy Fest videos. You know, I know it wasn't great content, but it was great to me because it's something that means to me. And um, I just thank you for your time, you know, watching my videos, commenting on my videos. And every everybody's comment is worthy. You know, everybody has something to say and they, everybody needs to be heard. So please feel free to comment. I don't get all butt hurt anymore. I'm not like that anymore. I kind of got my head out my ass. So y'all have a great day. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video and have a great day. Bye.